Good afternoon, everybody. This is the Balloon Bandit of Amusement with a Twist. And today we're doing the Bubble Guppies as uh, requested. Okay, um, I've got uh, three blush balloons, uh, one blue balloon, and a green balloon. And we're going to actually physically make one full Bubble Guppy. And then I'm going to show you what I got for the other Bubble Guppies in the collection. The girls are a little harder than the boys um, in the creation. So we're going to get started. Um, it's our green balloon. Five to seven off the nipple. Uh, with this uh, boy, he can be either the dark green or the light green. It's up to you. Okay, we're going to go ahead. Open hand size bubble, followed by about a four finger bubble, followed by a two finger bubble. And we already practiced this one. This is the tail. Followed by a two finger bubble, followed by a four finger bubble. And then you just twist them together, and then we twist them together again. And as you notice, I'll have this one twisting with it so that it actually uh, just locked the two sets together. Okay, next what we'll go is we'll go up the body, and we'll lock twist. So you should have what looks like that, and when you rotate it, you already have the basis of your tail. If you spread this out like this, you can position it so that the, the tail is straight. Okay. On the bubble cuppies versus the tail I made on uh, um, this past weekend or on Thursday when I did the mermaid, we need three ear twists versus two. Oh, I just undid that one, but that's okay. We'll put it back. And Right around this one over here and put our third. Okay. Yeah. You want to try and keep them as even as possible. I try and go with a one to two finger bubble on all my ear twists. It just makes them uh, conform better. Okay. So since we had already practiced the tail, um, Easy, simple. Okay, I'll set him to the side. Next, what we need is we need our body. Squeeze it down. It's five to seven off the nipple, like always. We're gonna go with open hand side bubble, followed by an ear twist. Approximately two fingers in size. Followed by a lock twist. Followed by an open hand size bubble. Or just match it. Followed by a, about a two finger bubble in size. And we're going to turn that into an ear twist. And then we're going to come back down the body. And lock it together. Okay, there's two ways of doing this to attach it to your tail. One is you just take the body and you wrap it around here or you leave yourself extra and you just take it and tie it on. I'm not going to tie it on. I'm just going to wrap it to the body. So I'm going to break off all my extra. It's your choice how you want to do this part. Um, it does get a little more tighter doing it my way versus just leaving the extra and then tying it on. Okay, so basically what I want to do now is I just want to push it under the ear twist and I'm going to roll it until it goes up under there. And I'm going to roll it around until both sides are equally together. Once I get that, then all I'm going to do is I'm going to lock it together. Okay. So as you can see, my ear twists are all together. And then by positioning him just right in the front of his body, and then by pulling his back open, I can tuck his tail up so that it looks like he's swimming, like in the picture. I want to turn all my ear twists so they face the same direction. Like so. Okay. 
Next, what I want to do is I'm going to turn these two ear twists so that they're facing the front. This is the front of his neck so that it doesn't look like he's got a gap in his neck. Next, what I need to do is add his arms. If I'm going too fast for you, uh, please stop and pause the video and, and rewind so that you can get the whole dimensions and stuff. Okay, that was a, a two-finger bubble, followed by approximately a three-finger pedal twist, followed by an ear twist, which is approximately one to two fingers in size. This is going to be a closed hand bubble into a pinch twist, followed by a three-finger bubble. And then we're going to attach it to our neck. Then we're going to come out the other side of our balloon. We're going to go a three finger to a pinch twist. Open hand side bubble. Three finger pedal twist. Followed by an ear twist. And followed by a two finger bubble to finish off his hand. And then pop off the rest. If you can't do that, please break out your scissors. Use air pumps if you have to. I know, I, I have way too much fun blowing them up by mouth. Okay, next what we want to do is we want to position his arms. So we got to spread the side and rotate his arms down and squish him in. Pull his sides open. As you can see, I'm taking my fingers and I'm rotating the arm until it sets inside the body. I'm not forcing it in there in any way, shape, or form. Okay. Thus we have his arms and his tail. You can make your arms longer or shorter, up to you. I just, I've made them this size forever and, and it just seems to do okay. Okay, you can make your tail longer if you really want to. But this is the standard bubble guppy body for both the boys and the girls. Except for the girls have their uh, um, tops. And I'll explain what you need to do in order to do the top, okay? I didn't do it the way I'm going to tell you, but that, that's neither here nor there. Okay, next what we want to do is we need to build a head. Okay, the head is approximately three of the blush balloons. Going at hand size bubble into ear twist, just like I would do like uh, on my uh, Curious George or any of my uh, um, balloon heads. It's a simple three, three bubble in design with ear twist on either side. So it's uh, um, open hand size bubble, ear twist, open hand size bubble, ear twist, followed by open hand size bubble. And then we're going to break off the extra, but we want to keep the uh, little piece at the end. So we want to create a nose. And if I'm trying to hold on to two things at one time. Okay. So basically, we, we just want a little bubble right on the end. Okay. And this will be the nose for our bubble guppy. And it'll also be the neck that attaches it to the body. Next, what we're going to do is tie the knot. Once you've decided which one you're doing, whether it's the orange hair, blue hair, green hair, whatever hair, then you would just attach it to this. With the boys' designs, the hair is standard. You just weave it back and forth for approximately four runs and, and call it done. So blow it up five to seven off the nipple. That was fun. Okay, try it again. Five to seven off the nipple. Open hand size bubble, followed by ear twist. Followed by open hand size bubble, to a lock twist. Then ear twist. Good. 
open the inside bubble to run it right around that ear twist. Break off the extra, save the extra for the nose. But since I already have a nose, I don't need two. Actually, I already got two. That's, that's, me. that's because I was playing before I got started with the video. Okay. So next what you want to do is you want to attach your blue to one of the ear twists. And you're just going to start by running it down like it would be a fourth bubble. And then run next to the blue again, come back across. Run next to the blue, come back across. And then one last run, as you saw, I just squeezed it because I pushed all the air down. I want to make this last one softer. And then just attach it to the ear twist. Okay. That is the basis for the boy's hair. Really simple in design, easy to do. Then you would turn his ears so that they look like ears. Let me grab one balloon. Next, what you want to do is grab a, a white round. Uh, this is approximately six inches. And you only want to blow it up to what is about uh, two fingers in size or so. The more air you put in it, the harder it is to shove it in his face. And then you split it. Like so. Take his nose. Attach it. And I tie these together myself. Okay. Once you have what looks like that, you take it and you shove it in the top set of his face. And you stick it in between the blue and the blush on the bottom. And pull it nice and tight. Put a knot like at the at the base of where it's tight. Nope, I'm gonna get it out of there. Okay. Once you got that, what you need to do is you need to take your balloon pump and put just a little bubble. It's approximately uh, one finger in size. At the base of his neck. You can go bigger if you want. It depends on how big and bulky you want his neck to be. And then I just opened it up. And it, it, the, um, the balloon pulled itself up inside there. Because I already had pulled it taunt. And then you just tuck his eyes back. And voila. That's how you create the head for any of the boys. Okay. And then you would just attach his head to his body. By taking your extra. And then you just tuck in your extra into the body of the design. And then position his head between the two ear twists at the top. And that would be... Your, one of your boys on, on, on the bubble guppy, okay? So, I'll bring him back uh, so you can look at him at, towards the end of the video. I, I have uh, some more pieces I need to show you in order for you to understand uh, uh, difference in pieces. Uh, one of them's having an issue right now. She, she, she's got a granny face because uh, my bubble's going flat. See it? It's going flat. She got wrinkles. Okay. So this is just a bubble chain. Basically it's a, a bubble chain. Three. Twist it. Then bubble chain, bubble chain, bubble chain. All the way across. A bubble chain of three. Twist it together. Uh, at the top it's a set of uh, four with an ear twist on the top. Bubble chains. There are two of them twisted together right there. So it's a bubble chain of one set with two. Bubble set of one set with two with the extra on the top 
for the ear twist. And then it is bubble chain, bubble chain, bubble chain. But if you look underneath, there are two yellow bubbles. That holds her hair up. And like I said, this balloon right here, as you can see, is wrinkling on the side right there. Uh, that should be fully inflated. But I don't have enough blush to replace it right now. So she kind of looks like a granny. Okay. So that's how you would do the yellow one. These bubbles set just above her ears for the three sets on the side. Okay. Next we had the uh, uh, lilac one. Basically her hair is the same as the boys. Where you do the runs across the back. Except for she has the uh, extra pieces on the ends. To give her... Or piggy tails and then I took a set of five uh, ear twists real small ones to make her little uh, um, starfish that's on her hair and all I did was I tucked it in with the extra I didn't tie it around the balloon because usually when you tie it around the balloon you'll see that strap I didn't like that effect but if you tuck it in it, it sets just fine okay so that would be the uh, lilac hair. Come here. Okay. Next we needed the one with the part in her hair. She has the uh, part on the side of her hair. So that it looks like it, it's wavy and coming forward. <coughs> okay. Now this is my, my top for um, her because I don't have a 360. If I had a 360... This would have looked really nice the way I did it. But as you can see, it's a split top. So, uh, that's what you would need to do for the girls is take a balloon. That's a size 360 or two 160s. And you basically, you're just tying it around the two bubbles in the front. If they say what happened to the strap on the back, you can always take one and, and do the same thing. That way the strap goes all the way through, except for... Right at her arms, you can see we went right on through. Okay, the body is exactly the same except for the top. Okay, and like I said, with this one, you could, if you really wanted to, you could put all the little flanges where her hair comes down. Um, I just think it, it, it's a little too much for the balloon. They already know who it is, it looks really good. And as for the part. It was a uh, um, two-finger bubble, and then I have an ear twist back here tucked in in order to force her hair forward. Uh, you don't have to have that in order to do it. Basically, what you would do is you go a two-finger bubble, then you would pinch twist it, and then make sure it's soft enough, and then attach it to the other side. And that still would do the same basic trick as this, but you wouldn't have the extra ear twist in there. I put it in there because I wanted it to push forward. Um, another way to get it to push forward would be to add an extra run right there. So basically you would have another set of balloons. You would have your uh, um, singer, uh, um, your little bubble here, and then that. But with an extra balloon there, it would push it forward enough so you didn't have to have the ear to it. But it, it's all your choice how you want to do your designs, okay? But that's how I did her hair. Okay. Voila. Okay, so let's review. Um, pink hair. Uh, uh, two bubble. With a, a, a split. And this is softened and pinch twist. With or without the ear twist is up to you. Okay. Uh, bra is a 360 in size. Or two one sixties. Tail, uh, two finger bubble, two finger bubble, four finger bubble, open hand size bubble, three ear twist. Uh, body itself is uh, open hand size bubble, ear twist, open hand size bubble, lock twist, open hand size bubble, ear twist, open hand size bubble. Close them together after you put the uh, um, tail on. Arms are uh, two finger bubble, ear twist, three finger pedal twist, hand size bubble, 
three finger bubble. Wrap it around the neck. That's a pinch to us at the three finger bubble. Uh, three finger bubble to a pinch twist, hand side bubble, uh, um, followed by the three finger pedal twist, ear twist, then to the two finger bubble. Okay? Uh, this one, um, like I said, it's about uh, three fingers to two, two to three fingers for the eyes. You split it, it's around six inch. Uh, nose is approximately uh, one to two fingers in size. This is uh, five ear twists on this one. Hair is just like the boys. You just run it across, run it across, run it across. Uh, on the face, it's open hand size bubble, ear twist, open hand size bubble, ear twist, open hand size bubble, locks to the ear twist. The nose is uh, two finger bubble, stretched in with a one finger bubble for the neck for the attachment okay the girl even though she's looking like a granny at the moment this would be open hand side bubble ear twist open hand side bubble ear twist open hand side bubble to the other ear twist followed by a, a, a two to three finger bubble for the eyes split in half uh, two finger, one to two finger bubble for the nose, pull through, uh, with a one to one and a half inch, like, like, like I said, it's very small to however big you want it on the neck. The back end of her head is one open hand size yellow, two open hand size yellow, followed by beaded across, it's a set of one, two, three, four, it's approximately five across in a set of rows and there's one two three four five rows of beaded across there except for when you get to the ear you take a set of three and you just rotate them together over here on this side set of three rotate them together and that gives it that effect at the top what i did was i went approximately three fingers or three bubbles then i made a set of three then I, on the next run, I made a set of two to three bubbles, and I twisted it around it. Then I went a set of two to the ear, two or three to the ear. On this side, it's a two to three to the ear. And then I spun these two together, and I put an ear twist at the top, which is an extra bubble that I added. Okay? So one set has two, one set has three, and when you twist them both together to lock them in place, that's how you get that, okay? So that's this girl. I know that really looks that really looks messed up, but I don't have another blush balloon until I go to the store. Um, okay, run down. Four finger, two finger, two finger, four finger. Open hand size bubble. Three ear twists is the tail. Okay. This is what the boy looks like. And the girl. Come back here. Okay, so this has been the Balloon Bandit of Amusement with a Twist Orlando. And again, like I said, her top should actually be a, a 360 versus a 260. But I don't have 360s. Okay? So, basically, that's my uh, bubble guppies. There is another way to make them. And, basically, it's, you make this tail, you add the two-finger pedal twist, and instead of a four-finger body, you would just do a two-finger body with your double ear twist at the top, so that way you can attach her arms and her head. And that's really up to you, and that would look something like this. Okay, it'd be open hand side bubble, followed by an ear twist, followed by an ear twist, followed by a lock twist, and break it off.
I'm not gonna go into full uh, details. You already know how to make arms and you already know how to make legs and all that other stuff. So I'm just showing you a basic rundown of what you would do. This would be two ear twist versus three ear twist for the simple design. You would just run it through the body. Okay, then you would take your hands and attach them at the ears. And yes, I know I did it in the wrong color to, for this head, but Again, I don't have any more blood. Okay. So again, her tail is not the right color because we just this is just for just for fun, this one. Okay, line up her body. Really. <laughs> I'm having way too much fun. I, I, I really hate crappy bones. I really do. It, it bugs me all to get out. But I don't think I'm... I don't think I'm going to be able to twist this one. Mm, nope. I broke it. I broke her head. So basically what I need to do is I need to take her hand off. And do it again. In there because I wrapped the, wrapped the neck around it. That's what happened. Okay. Let's do it again. Okay, as you can see, I'm pulling out on the body to push the arms in a downward motion. And basically, like I said, it's just an open hand size bubble, double ear twist to an open hand size walk twist. And then run it through the ear twist in order to attach it to the body. Then it uh, um, looks like an open hand size bubble to a two to three finger bubble uh, pedal twist. Uh, ear twist, uh, one finger to two fingers in size for just the regular thumb, and then you would attach her head. And if her head's setting too far to the back or to the forward, you just adjust her neck so that her face can bend up or down, depending on what you want to do with it. Okay? So that would be the simple uh, uh, bubble guppy balloon body design. Okay? Versus the full-out bubble guppy 
design. And again, you would just put a top on there. Okay. And you can use that for Ariel's uh, body too if you really wanted to. Like I said, it it come out just fine. You can put Ariel's head on there. Okay, well, come back here. Okay, we'll bring the boy back in. Okay, and again, this has been the Balloon Bandit of Amusement with a Twist, Orlando. And today we're, we were doing Bubble Guppies. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video. And again, we had the uh, boys, the girls. I didn't do all the boys' heads because they're all the same, except for the colors. Uh, again, this is just for her hair. I, I don't have any more blush to bring her nose back up. She looks like a granny. She got that upper lip. Okay. So that would be how you do like her hair. This one, pigtails on the sides. Uh, starfish in their hair. Okay. Thanks for watching. Uh, catch more of our videos. Again, tomorrow we're going to be starting our uh, Balloon Twister Challenge. Uh, so I'm getting prepared for that. Today I'm trying to decide what design. I'm actually going to do two. I'm going to do one for beginners and one for more advanced. Um, so that way it's equally fair across the board. Um, I'll probably put them both in the same video. Um, just like uh, put the beginner at the front and the more advanced one and towards the end and or I may make uh, Different videos for the advanced and then the beginner. Okay. I haven't figured that part out yet. I just trying to Pick it and place it in my head. Okay, and then remember uh, Thursdays we do uh, um, Like throwback Thursdays, but I think we're gonna be doing um, instead of throwback Thursdays. I think we're just gonna do a uh, uh, balloon twisting for beginners type uh, uh, or balloon animals for beginners um, on two uh, on Thursdays and, and we'll do the um, nice designs uh, um, or more advanced designs on Mondays and like I said, we got that Twister Challenge going to be on Tuesdays. I'm trying to play it through in my head what, how I want to set this up and how I want to run this. Because all in all, I have to know what I'm going to do before I even get that far. I put a lot of time and effort into these videos and I hope you really enjoy them. So until next time, uh, take care, be safe. Uh, comment below, uh, click the like button, subscribe if you haven't, if you're ready to uh, check out some more neat, cool videos. Um, I'm also not going to make it to where it's a video that I've done for the balloon twister challenge um, That way you have to actually know what it is or go find it um, So I will be uh, showing off designs that are actually on other channels than my own uh, Just to make it fair um, So I, I will also put a shout out to the artist that uh, it was on their uh, channel Okay, so have a great one. See you tomorrow for the Balloon Twister Challenge. Uh, catch you on Thursday for uh, Balloon Twisting for Beginners. Or, yeah, Thursday for Balloon Twisting with Beginners. Okay? So, this was Monday. Enjoy! Balloon Guppies.